uh, electricity, okay, in this, in this conceptual experience I have of the sixth dimension, I see it as a pool uh, that exists with, with two things in the pool, is the, the gravity and the, and the thought, the mass and the thought. It's all there. And the thought is like us, the body and the water, and the gravity is like the water. Gravity is, is God. It is the essence that flows throughout everything, that pulls everything towards itself. And we see it, and until before, I hadn't really seen it like this. And now I see it as a, a pool to, that we affect, that we send ripples through with our mind, this mind. And the mind, the subconscious mind, so they say sometimes, but I feel that it's fully capable for it to be the conscious mind, if you listen, exists in the sixth dimension, and it affects electricity. We created electricity to travel, to send. It is our, our messenger in the third dimension, and it will dissipate before it will fall to the ground. It's relatively unaffected by gravity. We can call lightning with our minds. People have done it in the past, so they've written, I believe it. I believe if it's like, because in the past there was a lot of cult following. So if there's one person saying something, a lot of people believe it. No. It was a science. It was, it was religion that it became science. Einstein has a cult following of people that believe him. It's not dispel the, the word and listen to the theory. Not the person, the theory. The theory is that the electricity is ours to control and send and so we've done it in, a, in an amazing way we use other things to better conduct it and then we send it the mind is what our thoughts are what directly control it without realizing it this is the thing once you start to get literal and think of copper tubing then it doesn't make any sense to this brain. But from the sixth dimensional perspective, you have to elevate your mind to that level and look backwards through the doorways into this heaven hell place, into this reality. From there, understanding that we're swipping all the gravity around, we're sending it like words are, are sparking things and pulling things. And we can do either. We can fire things up or we can draw people in. We can cause pain and we can heal. The mind and the spirit, God, gravity, 